Hey guys, Sensei De Palma here. Just uh, wanted to give you guys a few tips from the ground. Uh, I've got a lot of a lot of students that have been asking lately for some for some basics and base position. Uh, also, we have one of our blue belts uh, that's come down from Santa Cruz, even though he's he's from this area, Dylan, and uh, he's going to be helping me out today. Um, so I thought we would start with base position when you're in somebody's guard. And before I go to that spot, I would like to uh, to tell you a little bit uh, of some some mental training that you can do when you're when you're going into somebody's guard. Of course, it's it's going to be very different in, in gi and no gi. Um, so so today I'm going to kind of teach a, a middle ground between the two things that'll work for you in gi and things that'll work for you in no gi. I'll give you some tips in both areas. One thing that's important to remember, I think, is a lot of times we get into somebody's guard and we think that we're supposed to be the aggressor. Um, I'm not saying that there's not times for you to be aggressive in guard, but certainly if he's got control of my hips, there's not a lot of offense that I'm going to do being inside of his guard, but there's a ton of offense that he's going to do to me being inside of, of my guard. So I think a, a, a lot of time, I'm sorry, me being inside of his guard. So I think there's a lot of opportunities where he's going to attempt submissions and attempt sweeps um, that he's going to have to open up his legs, which take, take away a lot of my uh, initial work. Uh, trying to get his legs open to pass guard. So I'm going to have him go ahead and take his back here. The first thing I would say when we're in a uh, base position from guard is it really depends if I am, um, really depends if I'm in a position to uh, try to pass from postured or I'm trying to control him. So, so let me just, let me uh, give some distinct differences between the two. If I get into his guard right away and he's very active, so he's trying to sweep me, he's trying to do stuff to me in guard, right? The last thing that I want to try to do is to try to battle his, his, uh, his activity level, right? So a really good thing for me to do is to squeeze him. I get the side of my head into his body, my elbows down into my knees, and I just get him to wear himself out a little bit. If he's wearing the gi, I can grab his belt here, and I can keep the side of my head down, and I can control his body so he's having a really hard time trying to get up and do anything to me. What else I'm doing is you can imagine like you're watching a video game, right? And he's got his vitality level. His vitality level is just going down because he's wearing himself out trying to get out of my base position. So, um, and if you're not in, if you're not in gi, it works great in no gi too. You're able to keep your, your elbows down, your knees in tight and, and, and get control. See, I'm not grabbing the belt at all, but I'm able to keep him from being able to make those sweeps work on me. And I'm keeping my head nice and safe. So I think those are two really important things to think about. Uh, when you're in base position and guard. Uh, so your bullet points on that, what you should be practicing is getting the tops of your thighs to be touching the bottoms of his thighs, getting your elbows in nice and tight to the point where you can touch them to your knees and the top of your thighs and the side of your head and then let that part of your body shrink up. Again, if he's wearing a gi, you can just grab here if you'd like to, if that's comfortable, right underneath the armpits, keep the side of your head down, or you can go in here where his belt is and grab that. Sometimes I like to grab the belt, and the reason I do is because when I am going to posture and pass, I'm able to take my arms here, push in, and drop my elbows right down into his legs, which is really going to help me control. Now if he sets up to try to get me, right, I can just back out, and now I'm, now I'm prepared for a pass. I'm able to move my leg all the way through. Okay, so, so that talks to us about what to do when he's active. Let's say I enter his guard, and he wants to be passive. Right, which is another uh, strategy that is often used. If he's passive, I don't want to come down here and lay here because there's no activity, there's nothing happening, right? So I'm going to posture and I'm going to move into this position. Now, one of the optimal times to pass somebody's guard is when their abdominal muscles are flexed. So let me show you what I mean. If I try to reach into his closed guard right now, he's got triangles, he's got guillotines, he's got a lot of strength. See, I can't even get in here. See how he's controlling me, right? If I try to reach into this leg, that's gonna open him up. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff to do there, okay? So, and another common thing I see is guys put on the closed guard. They're trying to reach into this, especially in the beginner levels, they're trying to reach into this to open. He can drop this leg right up on my shoulder and put me right into triangle. There we go, okay? So I don't wanna go to that place. So what I want to do is I want him to have to come up and get me, okay? See how I've got a hold of his belt? My elbows are really narrow. They're attached to my rib cage. I've got a hold of him. I want him to come and get me because the best time for me to pass is when, his, is when his abdominal muscles are flexed. You see me controlling him? So I'm going to give you guys a quick pass. He's going to sit up, and right as he sits up, I'm going to pull one of my knees back. This opens a hole right in this area. And as, and as I go into this area, and this hole is opened up right here, 
right? So I was in nice and tight. He was down on his back. He sat up to try to get my head, and I pulled that leg back, which opened this hole. I'm going to do a single leg scoop. So I'm going to reach in. I'm not going to lower my shoulder because, again, there's the triangle. I'm going to reach in and put it onto my bicep, and I'm going to grab some material right out of the gate, whether it be his sleeve, his lapel, right? And I'm going to bring him back down and keep the back of his knee flush on my chest. Once I'm in here, I'm going to switch my grip across his throat, and I'm going to get into the push-up position, and I'm going to drive that knee towards his ear and drop my elbow down. It's a great way to pass. Okay? So, again, just a quick recap. I'm down. I'm controlling. He's really active, right? And I'm going to keep him. I'm going to, I'm going to make him use up that vitality. I'm going to control him and get him to get tired. Okay? Then I'm going to pop up posture. He sits up to get my head. I'm going to back my knee out, controlling my elbow. Reach under and grab control. Reach over, take that lapel, and pass that leg and move myself into mouth or control position. Want to finish with one statement, guys. These techniques I'm showing you, you can practice them right now, today, very easy, and they're going to work for you, especially in the novice and beginner levels. As you get to intermediate and more advanced, you're going to need some more details. You're going to have to look at timing a little bit more. But man, I would practice these basics starting right now and really learn how to master them. I still use them every single day, even at the advanced levels.